Hey everybody, Freedom for Gaming here. Today's video, we are going over, ah uh, yeah, you're excited. We're going over safely misting your macaw. Now there's a certain couple steps you gotta do to make sure this is done safely. Not hard, easy to do. And misting and bathing your parrot, your macaw, cockatoo, all, is extremely, extremely important. Now first thing, you need a clean squirt bottle. You need to fill it with hot water. Make sure it is on mist, it's not on stream. <gasps> And then you need to spray it and make sure it's not cold, but it's not hot. You need a good, decent, warm temperature. You don't want your bird getting cold, as birds are cold-blooded. They can't regulate their body temperature, so if they get too cold, they're going to get sick. So, but squirt bottle's ready. Everything's ready to go. So, next thing yeah, is get them good and misted. Phoenix likes to try and attack shower heads and squirt bottles and stuff. He gets really excited when he gets to bathing. And that's kind of why I prefer to miss him. Because <laughs> he gets very pinchy in the shower when I go to the shower. He's just a huge shower with my birds. I try to shower with him once a week. So, yeah. Once he starts getting wet down, he'll start hopefully listening to the and see some of those hybrid colors under his wings. Now, uh, I have had some people totally rip me on my videos for having hybrid macaws, and, uh, sorry, yeah, you're gonna rip me on hybrid macaws or hybrid macaws, you need to go comment on other videos. So, yeah. So, and Phoenix is a very oily bird. He hits sexual maturity extremely early. Uh, a lot of macaws, they don't hit sexual maturity until the age of 10 to 25. He hit it at about 4 when we lost our daughter, Ava Marie. Um, they threw the whole house for a loop. So he gets very oily easily. So we had to make sure we keep him good and big. Otherwise, he starts looking kind of dingy. Which some birds just do that. And it's overproduced oil, which if you don't keep them clean, they start overproducing oil, they turn into fluffy. So, you're yeah. not opening up your feet. You're a, oh, there we go, yeah. yeah. Want to show on your dog? Huh? You want those wings again? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. You can see some of those pretty yellows under his wings. Now, I did have one part of the person when they saw my birds getting this, they say they were in stress. They're not in stress. I know my birds well. I've had my birds years. Oh, yeah. I know how my birds are when they're playing excited. Yeah. Yeah. Show those pretty yellows. Yeah. So, you see he's getting pretty good. Phoenix has very thick feathers. Phoenix is a very big boy. Um, yeah. <laughs> he's uh, broke squirt bottles before attacking them. Because he likes playing with them. And then he's gotten mad because he broke a squirt bottle and it ended bad time for him. So, when we first brought him home. <gasps> yes. Yes. When we first brought him home, he was actually scared of water. So it took quite a while to get him to start liking this. So, now, that's his thing of, give me the squirt bottle. He's looking at squirt bottle. He's wanting the squirt bottle. So, being his hose down pretty good as safe times. So what you're going to do now is take this, your little squirt nozzle, squirt it until no more water comes out. You can hear it in the background. Just the air coming out. Next thing, take this, dump it out. Get dumped out in the bathtub. The reason you do that, you don't want water sitting here, go stagnant. Now you can put them back together and store them on top of each other, but do not screw them together. The reason being, that water will sit in there, that it'll mold bacteria, it will go in, and over time it builds up in the bottle and the nozzle where you can't see it. And every time you miss your birds, you're turning around and putting that on their feathers, and they start putting, they start ingesting it, which goes into their crop and their digestive tract, which can make them very ill and kill them. And the other note, bottle you use for misting your birds with, nothing else. That is the dedicated bird bottle. Don't put anything else in it. You don't let anybody else use it because you do not want to mistake it and accidentally have chemicals in there and they get on your bird and they kill your bird or hurt your bird badly. 
So, very easy steps to follow, very simple on how to safely miss your macaw. <laughs> Um, I am going to do one over cockatoos, because cockatoos are a bit different because they are old world parrots, they're not new world parrots. But now, basic simple skills, something that is very important to know how to do, and that you are now able to do easily after seeing this video. Come here, big boy. So, till next one, can you say hi, Phoenix? Yeah. He sees everybody out there. Oh, people used to have when we had a chihuahua, so yeah, he barks like one. So, don't forget, like, subscribe, you know, check out the music, www.forgiven.net, even he's suggesting it. Till next time, never give in, never give in.